Hi, my name is Dr. Tapring Michelle Picado. I lead two organizations, ADSTEAM and National Science Policy Network, both dedicated to empowering the next generation of scholars, scholars in STEM degrees and scholars that are interested in using their science background for policy good. So my question for you guys, thank you so much for, for being up there, is you guys are the seniors. What should the next generation, what's the critical skill beyond their science technical, technical abilities, what should they learn from you and your opportunities and your maybe mistakes that they need to do better to influence the, the state of our, our world? Who wants to take that first? We'll can, start off. Yeah, go for it. I can kick off. Just I, I do think you, you've heard from us. Um, you know, being able to translate the work into uh, impacts in local communities and um, show the value of that. I think that it's really hard in the scientific community sometimes to do that, and also the long lead time of the research makes that very challenging. But uh, figuring out a way to communicate, and I think. Um, Communicating in ways that the young uh, people are communicating now is also really important, and that doesn't lend itself. You know, tweets are very short, um, but trying to figure out some um, smart ways to address that because I do think that's a really important way of communicating the value. I'll just yeah. add, just since the AAAS does a lot of this work, and we're big fans of the NSPN, so glad you're here. Um, uh, you know, the thing that I think is is really hard for folks to understand who are just coming into this is there's always these trainings about how to do a one page or how to. Do PowerPoints, all this. and those are that's a prerequisite. You got to go do all that stuff. But uh, the fact of the matter is, is that alone doesn't get anything. You can have the most beautiful PowerPoints and the great talking points, and be able to do your elevator pitch. Um, there's a uh, there's a there's a wide variety of tools at your disposal, and part of that is building relationships over time. And that is something that you can't you can't teach in a one day seminar. It's about building relationships because this is a very small town. Uh, everybody knows everybody, especially if you're in a health policy world or if you're in a, a public policy world. And so being able to build those relationships over time, understanding that it, it, it ain't like West Wing and it ain't like House of Cards and, you know, pick your show. Uh, in, fact, it's, uh, in fact, it's even crazier and even better. Um, and, and I like that. Yeah, that's the way it should be. But, but understanding that that, that is not... Um, that the mentality of you're going to come in and save the day uh, is actually it's more important to work in teams and to work in big groups like this advocacy community to make a giant difference, which is really possible when you put your mind to it. I'd say it's more like Veep, but let's yes. go to the next question. 